to have you with us this evening and want you to enjoy every minute of your stay here. And while you relax and stretch, visit our concession where you'll find something to please you. There are ice cold drinks, delicious sandwiches, ice cream, coffee and snacks, and many other pleasing treats. Our foods are fresh and tasty. Our drinks satisfying and refreshing. They're so good. And now, on with the show. Delicious, delicious popcorn, freshly popped. That machine's right there. I just did it. It's so delicious. So, um, hey, welcome to my first Grindhouse Funhouse live broadcast. That's right, I call them live broadcasts and not live streams because, well, just because. Um, so, yeah, I had announced this, what was it, like three months ago, like second week of December. I said, hey, before December 23rd, in a short, no less, I was uh, advertising myself. I was like, oh, I'm going to do a live stream. And I didn't. Oopsie. Uh, what can I say? I like to take my sweet time. I like to, to perfect the beat. So uh, that is why. Um, actually, I haven't even promoted this at all. I don't think even my friends, my YouTube friends, gonna show up to this. One of them is probably asleep right now. Neil, somewhere out there in the UK, is probably all sleepy and all and all that. So uh, sorry about that, Neil. It's just a, a spur of the moment kind of thing. I wanted to do this because uh, today is my birthday. That is right. I am an old ass man. I have lived half my life probably now at 45, and um, I had a pretty good day. Pretty good day. I saw Scream, Scream Five. I bought a shitload of vinyls. I might show it a bit. And um, yeah, and uh, for this live thing, I've tried it before. I've done it on Instagram with uh, my movie collection library shelf overview, which went gangbuster. It's an award winning series that many of you have watched. All right, just a few of you have watched. Uh, <laughs> the last one I've done. Hey, Les Specialists. What's up, my brother? um that i did uh, was a year ago and i think i rose up to like uh, shelf 12. so i might start this up again i don't know i i have no idea i don't know what i'm gonna go with this this is a this is kind of like a trial run i'm trying things out okay so this is what it is but uh so uh, on here i'll do like probably unboxings uh we could talk about the latest blu-ray coming out uh, only the ones I care for. I am not Michael Keane. Michael Keane does this way better than I do. And he does a bang up job, bang up job of doing it. Uh, talk about new trailers. Uh, all kind of things I could come up with. And um, that should be probably it. And, you know, just uh, shooting the shit with you all. Just, you know, trying things out. Of course, I had to be that guy to wear, you know, his shirt right here it is a beautiful it is a beautiful logo i have i have to promote myself you know so there you go mm. all right i've just gotten that big of a bag <laughs> bite all right so mm. there you go all right first official business is that i wanted to show you all the movies i've bought since um november um, so basically it's gonna be a collection update but done as a live thing so basically it'll cover from November to now uh, I've been keeping all these movies right here in this box since December and do you know how much it pains me to have done this because usually I buy movies and I buy I, I put them right away in these beautiful shelves right here and these movies have been in this box for three goddamn months you know, trying to um, do this live and it just stays in this box. And I think one of the main point I wanted to do this now on my birthday tonight. I just want to clear this goddamn box because I am done. I am done with uh, with this box right here. So I will show you what I got. It's pretty much this box is from uh, uh, 
deep discount. That's right. Uh, back in November, because uh, I was I was I was wanting to buy uh, movies from the Vinegar Syndrome and or um, uh, Severin sale, but uh, there weren't that many titles that were really uh, tickling my fancy. Also, I thought it was really goddamn expensive. So instead of putting that money there, I just put money in this box of movies I've been, that was on my want list for like the last year or so, and I, I cleared a few titles out. So I will show you this right now as I, I drink a little water. There you go. This is this is gonna keep everyone watching. I know uh, after the the first ten minutes, it'll be very very exciting. So all right, first movie, first movie I've got was Starman right here. I'm gonna focus. There you go, John Carpenter. Of course, this was the um, is it Scream Factory? It is Scream Factory. And uh, this movie, the last time I saw it was probably in the late '80s, early '90s. So I don't remember a goddamn thing from it. But I know there's, um, you know, what's her face? Karen Allen, you know, from Scrooge. Of course, Jeff Bridges right here. So uh, I'm very excited to uh, to check it out again. You know, John Carpenter. I want to own everything he does. Up next, I got uh, <clears throat> Brainstorm. You right here, Christopher Walken, Natalie Wood in her last movie. She died during that movie. In fact, she died while in the presence of Christopher Walken on a boat somewhere. Him and her husband, I can't remember his name right now, but uh, yeah, and it's directed by uh, Douglas Trumbull, who recently passed away. It was, um, was it like a month ago or something? He's a, a visionary, a pioneer in special effects. He worked on uh, 2001 special, special as <laughs> 2001, uh, Star Wars, uh, all the big fucking movies you can think of that involve special effects he was part of. And uh, I watched this one and is it's I'm sure it was really trippy in its time. It already had the vision of what VR could be, but it was really uh, kind of meandering, kind of boring. You know, it wasn't as uh, exciting as I thought it could be from the trailer I saw. So there you go, Brainstorm. Up next. And by the way, if I if you ask me a question and talk it to me, there's like a 10 second delay. And I, I'm looking at my phone so I could see if people are actually talking to me. So uh, there you go. If somehow you don't, I don't respond. That is the reason why. Up next, I got the Go Go Boys, the Inside Story of Canon Films, the MVD Rewind Collection. This documentary was the answer to Boom Electric Boogaloo. The Wild and Tulsa of Canon Films. Uh, this one was not made with cooperation of uh, Mah Mahalan Gold. What's his name again? That was Menahem Golden and Yoran Globus. So when they saw this, they said, you know what? We should do a documentary about ourselves right away. And this is the version. So there you go. And uh, sorry about that. Uh, I definitely want to do a review of this one. I actually saw it at a festival. Like, was it like 2005 or something? Maybe before? At any rate, I need to rewatch it again. I definitely want to do a review of this one. Up next is a movie I made a review of. I did a review for, I should say, and then Fat Man. See, that's how long I should have been doing this. I wanted to do this in December, talking about Fat Man <laughs> with Mel Gibson. But uh, yeah, I did a review of it, so you want to check it out at some point, maybe next Christmas. And uh, I've actually rewatched it last Christmas, two years in a row. It's actually that good. Mel Gibson really crushes it in this one. So yeah, there you go. And his new movie coming out, Panama. I want to check it out too. All right. All right up next, another movie I did a review for, Fried Betty, South uh, South African movie about a uh, really uh, an asshole type person, a junkie that gets uh, you know taken over by aliens and uh, he goes on a wild ride wild wild ride one of the best movies i saw uh, two years ago was a 2019 at fantasia film festival so yeah if you haven't seen this one it is on shutter you don't have to pay 20 bucks for a blu-ray you could actually sit for free so there you go up next is um, black rain with uh, michael douglas and uh what's his face andy garcia kate captures in this a Ridley Scott movie I have yet to see. It came out in 1989, I believe. So, uh, can't wait to check it out. There you go. Up next, 
Up next, it is a double feature from Screen Factory, Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. I actually wanted to get this because I saw this, I saw the documentary uh, Tales of the Uncanny and it was featured. Uh, I knew of Tales from the Crypt, obviously the TV series, but not this actual movie this uh, anthology movie because uh, Tales of the Uncanny is a documentary documentary about all anthologies, horror anthologies and stuff and such. So uh, Tales of the Crypt looks really good and uh, I, I've been wanting to see it and uh, I got myself a copy. So there you go, Tales from the Crypt. Up next, uh, I uh, got myself On the Rocks, Bill Murray, Rashida Jones. I am a huge Bill Murray fan. I saw this movie, was it uh, December 31st, 2020, when I couldn't go to movie theaters and I saw it on, the big, on my big TV. So there you go. It's not great, but it's not awful either. It's not his best work, let's put it this way. Up next, I got myself a double feature of Night Patrol and The Wrong Guys. I got this because of The Wrong Guys. Uh, look at this lineup, Louis Anderson, Richard Lewis, uh, Richard Belzer, John Goodman, Louis Anderson died also recently, you know, sad, sadly. Uh, I got this because of the creators behind this movie, uh, Danny Bilson and Paul DeMeo. Danny Bilson and Paul DeMeo created the Flash series, the 1990 Flash series. It's like one of my all-time favorite TV shows. So I wanted to see what they did before you know, The Flash, The Rocketeer, all those great shit, and it's, uh, it's a terrible, terrible fucking movie. Never watch this. Never watch it. it is, it's fucking awful. And lastly, from this box, from this box, I got uh, Hollywood Vice Squad. Uh, Penelope Spheris, she of uh, Wayne's World, you know, 1992, big ass hits. Uh, this one has Ronnie Cox in it. It has Trish Van Devere. It has uh, who else is in this one? Frank Gorshin, who played you know the Riddler in the TV series Batman. Carrie Fisher has a role in this. I'm not quite sure what to expect from this one. Um, it was very cheap when I got it. That was one of the big reasons. And uh, Hollywood Vice Squad with a title like this, you know, you expect something really good. Hopefully, so uh, who knows. Who knows? Hey man, that is it for this box. I am so glad I, I, I put my movies away now. I could put them away. Isn't that nice? It's great, it's great, it's a great fucking feeling. We're gonna do this right now. Put this under the table right here. And then I will show you the rest, the rest of the movies I got from uh, January to uh, right now, I guess, or late February, beginning of March. I haven't bought that many movies as of late. With the job and all, the new job, I haven't had time to, to shop, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. I have so many fucking movies. Look at this. Look at this. I've barely watched any of these. Why, have I, why do I have a channel? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. All right. The Dead Zone. Stephen King, another Christopher Walken movie. <clears throat> had the DVD for the longest time, then they did the collector's edition. I got this for like 15 bucks on Amazon Canada, which is a fucking good deal. So that's why I jumped on it. So there you go, The Dead Zone. Then I went to, uh, here in Montreal, there's a, um, a flea market called Same Shell, the Same Shell flea market. And I went there. And there's a, a shop called Film Fanatic, and uh, there, uh, there are carriers of um, Vinegar Syndrome titles. And this one was like um, 10 bucks off. I, got, I think I got it for like 20 bucks. And it is a, a VSA titles. It is whatever it takes. With the slip, no less. Ooh. Uh, Fred Williams, uh, Andrew Dice Clay, and uh, Don the Dragon Wilson. This was a, a total blind buy. This is like late 90s, I believe. You know, direct-to-video movie. Yeah, 1998. And uh, what else? Do I get the number here? Yeah. I am 1947 out of 5,000 right here. I know it means a lot, really. But I, I, I'm curious. I love those like dumb late 90s action movies. 
there's so many of them so many of them I should I want to go through them all I wish someone would do like um, my dream would be like some company release like uh, a trailers compilation but for the 90s everything action movies horror all the shit you don't even know exists it's crying out to have you know uh, that kind of compilation I, I hope someday someone answers my prayers okay all right up next Probably my favorite movies from William Lustig's Lustig's Lustig Maniac Cap Ma Maniac Cop 2 with the slipcover, the Blu-ray, not the 4K. Because since they released the 4K, everyone has been selling their um, their uh, Blu-rays or Blue Underground, like uh, so they could get their 4K. So I got this for really fucking cheap. I don't have to buy for the 4K. I got this now. I get to replace my old DVDs of this. They were like really cheap DVDs to crappy pictures. So I can't wait to rewatch my Blu ray that I just bought. And then I also got Maniac Cop 3 with the slip as well. Now I just need to get uh, Maniac Cop from Synapse Films, which does not have a slip cover. How dare they? But yeah, Maniac Cop 3. Then I got uh, there's this. Um, company blu-ray company in korea is it north korea or south korea i don't know my koreas anyway it's called nova media and they do uh special editions of like uh mostly like steel books sometimes they'll do like regular edition of blu-rays one of those blu-rays i bought when they had a sale like three four years ago was uh what was it where is it it's right here john wick this one and I love the slip cover it's all shiny and slick and uh, I get I love that I got this yeah you know they didn't have like a, a different cover like this so yeah and there's like uh, it's all written like in North Korean and English in the back so yeah uh, since I had bought this one I said to myself then just follow the whole thing like the whole series so I got myself John Wick 2 right here and then I got myself John Wick 3, Parabellum, which uh, some of it, was it number two or number three? I can't remember. I think it's two, but some of it was actually shot here in Montreal. And I was actually sitting in the movie theater where they show a, a couple of scenes from Montreal where it was literally outside the movie theater. As I was watching, I could see the movie theater in the movie. I, it blew my mind. So that's, that's all I'm saying. So I can't wait to see John Wick 4 and 5 and like the TV series too. So yeah, um, then I got a freebie. I got Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, actually, I asked for like the the the, the whole box thing. Like the uh, I knew I wasn't gonna get it, but uh, so they sent me this. I guess as a, a consolation prize. I just wanted it just for like the I just want to see like the special features. And for me, the whole movie is just the final scene at the end with Bill Murray and Sigourney Weaver. That to me should have been the whole damn movie. The rest I could pretty much pass on so there you go that's my that's my review of that then uh, I also got McBain yes I got McBain did you uh, da, 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 I will show you this right now did you go did you go watch my review I posted it this Sunday it's really good I think I did a pretty good job of, uh, of you know of reviewing the movie but uh, if you haven't seen it, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for early 90s uh, actioner. Again, with Christopher Walken, you know, barely, barely giving a fuck. <laughs> Just sleepwalking or sleepwalking, as I said in the review. He does not care for uh, much of the, the, this, but uh, it was still a fun watch. Still a fun watch. Then I got myself for a dollar at a flea market in the dead of winter in saint saint I had to drive there. I, I drove there to get a, a vinyl. I went there to get uh, the Lost in Translation soundtrack I was looking for for years. And I finally got it. And then I went to a flea market and I got myself the Drive DVD. So I didn't have to spend 30 bucks on the MVD collection release. <coughs> it's the same diff, you know. I, I got to, to put $29 somewhere else. So yeah, I finally got to watch Drive, and it was everything I hope it would be, and more. Just that uh, motel scene alone, that was uh, that was pretty nuts. So uh, I was happy about this one. And then finally, this is a cheapie, something I bought uh, 
from Germany, but I got it through Amazon. And it is the, the Return of Superfly. Did you know there was a third Superfly movie that came out in 1990? That's right. And there's a kick-ass soundtrack that came with it, a various artiste soundtrack. And uh, Nathan Purdy's in this, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I've yet to watch it. I want to actually review it just to see how good or bad it could be. But I mean, how good it could be. Like the one that's playing Superfly looks like a goober. Look at this. I don't know if you're seeing it right here. It's just, uh, I don't know. I'm not feeling confident. Not feeling confident at all. Not at all. So uh, yeah, that, ooh, there you go. So that is it. That is it for the movies I got. Um, I feel like I want to show you right now all the vinyls I got today, this afternoon. I went to three stores after I went to see Scream. And um, yeah, I'm going to just uh, blaze through them. I just want to show them to you right now. You know, they're, they're right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them. I will get them right now. And uh, let's see here. First one was uh, Slaves of New York, early 90s movie about uppity people in New York City. I think, isn't this one about like, who's got the best apartments or some nonsense? It's directed by James Avery, who did, um, you know, The Remains of the Day and Howard's End. That was the movie he did before, was uh, this one, and it stars, uh, what's her face, Ben Bernadette Peters. But the score, just the score, like just the artist's Boy George, oh my god, and then the Cherry, Inner City, P Pill, P-I-L, that's why one of the, and uh, Lerita Mitsuko, which is a great group from France, from France, uh, really good, Iggy Pop, Maxi Priest, so yeah, I got this one, then I got The Mighty Queen, this is Denzel Washington in the early, I think was it 89 or 1990, so there you go, The Mighty Queen, that's, that's one. I got this one because it's a John Williams score and I get everything from John Williams. Is that ever with Mel Gibson? There you go. And Sissy Spasek. That's right. Um, I actually spent $4 on this. Don't judge me, please. But uh, Rhinestone with Miss Dolly Parton, who just uh, recused herself from being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's a badass lady, that Dolly Parton. Who doesn't love Dolly Parton? And who doesn't love Sylvester Stallone? I don't know. But he sings country in this terribly. So I can't wait to actually listen to it. Am I actually going to listen to it? I don't know. Then I got uh, Promised Land. I don't know what this movie is, but it's James Newton Howard. And, uh, and I, I am a fan of James Newton Howard right here. It's this fella right here. You can see it. And then, oh, this one I'm happy to get because... Uh, I missed out on this one at some point and uh, I didn't want to buy the, the reissue of this. Like, why spend 30 bucks when I could get it for seven? Lethal Weapon. Oh, fuck yes. I need the other two. But now I got the first one, Michael Kamen. Instantly, when you listen to this, you know it's a Michael Kamen score. And every score is done after this one, you know it's a Michael Kamen score. He has this, this thing with like saxophones and, you know, all that, all that nonsense. Uh, <laughs> It's really good. I can't, can't wait to listen to it. Uh, this one I got um, because I got the number two. I need number one. Jaws 3D. Look at this beautiful cover. This movie is terrible. Terrible. But, you know, I got the score. So there you go. Then, uh, next door I went to, I saw this and I wanted it. Coming to America. There you go. Coming to America. Coming to America, the sequel was a piece of shit. But the original, well, that's some shit right there. Then, uh, this one has to be rare. I've never seen this in the wild before. I am amazed, amazed that I found this one. Midnight Run? Holy fucking shit, man. Danny Elfman, this is one of his uh, early, early uh, scores, you know. And uh, I cannot believe I found this for 50 bucks. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Uh, this is a blind buy. Anything Ennio Morricone, the maestro, I will buy no matter what. And this it is uh, Espion Lève Toi, which is a spy movie from France in the early 80s, I believe. Yeah, in the early 80s. So there you go. Again, this one right here, blind buy. 
Now we're on to my favorite uh, label, which is uh, Varese Saraband. And uh, let me show you something right now. I forgot to put it up. Uh, da, 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 da. There you go. Let me show you. So yeah, I have created I created this group right here, Varese Saraband Vinyl Soundtrack Collectors. So for all the freaks that love vinyls from this beautiful record label, I started this group and we're up to like 230 members now is it what it is 237 holy shit so if you haven't signed up please do so because we talked about all the good shit all the good shit so i was really surprised when i found this earlier today and it is no man's land charlie sheen this was written by dick wolf dick wolf of course of law and order like i paid 17 dollars but this is uh it's hard to find these and to for a good price too i cannot believe I got this, Basil Polyduris. If you don't know Basil, uh, what did he do? Did he do like The Running Man? Or I can't remember which one he, like someone's screaming at me right now, like, he did this. I can't remember right now. I'm, I'm blinking. But yeah, No Man's Land right here. Then I got a, a dirty movie from Canon Films for two bucks, no less. Bolero. Bolero. Da -na 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 -da 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 -na. Say, uh, starring, uh, you know, Bo Derek and her, hus her husband John Derek directed this. You get to see her naked riding a horse at Canon Films, of course. So uh, I saw this movie uh, as a young man. As a young man, yes. <laughs> it sounds too creepy. And then I got this because, um, I don't know, because it's Vera Saraband and I buy everything from Vera Saraband, but Agnes of God with, uh, you know, uh, Jane Fonda and Van Croft. Uh, will I watch the movie? No, but I will listen to the score of Georges Delarue for sure. And then finally, I cannot believe I found this. I paid for this uh, this score like at least 45, 50 bucks. And then I find it in the wild for 10 bucks. Come on now, Invasion USA. Are you shitting me? $10. Oh, I'm going to monetize this thing. I'm going to either exchange it for something or, you know, crank it up. But, oh, my God. Do I love this movie? Canon film. Classic Canon films. The score is pretty good, too. Look look at this manly man. This beefcake of a man. is a denim man with his two Uzis in hand. Just wanted to shoot your face off. That's what he wanted to do. That's what he wanted to do. So, um, yeah. That is it. That is it for the vinyls. And uh, what else? What else I got? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I got myself a gift. I got myself a gift. So uh, I do buy books on occasion, rarely, if ever, but I do like to read. And uh, I saw this deal where uh, the shipping was so incredibly high on this book. Like, literally, it was like 50 bucks on a $30 book. So I said, fuck that. But the writer of the book, the publisher or something, for us Canadians, decided to drop the, the prices down. So I decided this is myself like, I'm gonna own this. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing just to, to show you that I got it. Cause you know, I got it yesterday and it's a gift to myself. And uh, I, I will show it to you right now. Ooh, that is nice. I have to unwrap it. I got uh, little things like this. Oh, that is some good, that is some good wrapping. I like this. There you go. Oh, snap. This is amazing. Holy shit. Oh, beautiful. And it is the Rudy Ray Moore biography. Thank you for letting me be myself. This is the authorized uh, biography. Look at this thick, thick book right here. And uh, yeah. I cannot wait to uh, check it out, all the pictures. Oh boy, I can't show this. Oh boy, a lot of nudity. But they talk about all the movies he's done, all the, the, the stand-up acts, the, the albums, everything about his life is in this book. I actually want to do possibly a review of it, unboxing or whatever. But uh, look, look at this. Look at this, it's beautiful. I cannot believe I have it. And for a decent price. He made me a decent price. Look, I even got a coaster. Right here, Rudy Semo says, put your drink on it. Put your drink on it. Put your weight on it. Put your drink on it. So yeah, there you go. 
there you go so one last thing I want to do see nobody's there I knew this it's fine it's a trial run it's okay it's okay people next one I'm really gonna advertise it <laughs> let's just leave it like this so yeah um, I want to talk to you like the, the next three releases on blu-ray I'm waiting for like I'm really like genuinely excited to, to, to get and uh, I will switch to this right now so first one being Dead Game if you've ordered it the special edition the 2000 copy special edition that comes with like a, a, a meat cleaver like a tiny little meat cleaver like a keychain or something so this is sold out apparently as of last week and it started to ship these out and uh, yes it's from Great House releasing and uh, I have been waiting on this one I definitely want to do a review of this movie I cannot wait to see it you might know it as the uh, the, the remake of it was Knock Knock the Eli Roth movie that uh, Keanu Reeves was in this is the OG version directed by Peter S. Trainer, uh, Sandra Locks in this, Colin Camp, Seymour Cassell and uh, I'm really wanting to see this very very soon next one being Thriller Thriller, a cruel picture, or they color one eye. Uh, if you don't know this one, uh, the the look uh, in Kill Bill, some of it was inspired from this, uh, and uh, it stars. Uh, it's a Swedish movie. It stars uh, Christina Lindberg. 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 Uh, this is the uh, vinegar vinegar syndrome release. I believe it's going to come out in May. Uh, Synapse Films right now release their own version for some reason. Like there's some sort of, I don't know if there's a feud, but there's, a, there's something that happened where, you know, they released two versions of the same movie within months of each other. Uh, but I definitely want to get this one right here, Thriller. Um, it's one of those Great House movies I've yet to see. I know, I know it happens. I may have a, a channel called Great House Fun House, but I haven't seen all the movies, which makes it exciting because I, I got so many movies uh, I could, uh, you know, still check out, which is nice. And the last movie I want to check out is Grand Slam. Just came out in the late 60s. It makes me think of another movie I have, which is, uh, what is it? Like the one in Vegas kind of thing. What's it called? Uh, oh, they came to they came to rob, rob Las Vegas. So basically it's a heist movie. And uh, this one I've been, I had like the DVD for the longest time on my want list. But now they're going to release the Blu-ray. Look at this right here with Janet Lee, Robert Hoffman, Klaus Kinski, Edward G. Robinson. So uh, yeah, this is coming out April 26th. I don't know who else is gonna get this. Yes, I know, I know, I am excited too. Uh, cannot wait to check it out. And uh, I'm really into heist movies, especially from that era. And uh, I'm just, uh, I'm tickled pink that Kino Lower Bear decided to, to release it. So yeah, uh, yeah um what else what else i gotta say here i don't know man what else oh yeah i wanted to talk about what is coming up next video wise um this sunday 3 p.m i got the she devils on wheels uh review i've been wanting to do actually talk about that movie in my 500 subscriber video like a year ago i said i was going to review it within the year i didn't but i did a couple weeks ago and it's come out this sunday I like that I get to review an all-female cast movie because all, all the movies I watch is very, you know, uh, very uh, sausage fessy. A lot of sausage fest. It's a lot of sausages. A lot of sausages. So it's started to have like an estrogen boost in my eyeballs, which I got from She Devils on Wheels. Uh, I want to do an update on my Varese Sarabend vinyl soundtrack collection. Funnily enough, I found new ones I could talk about and um what else um there's three movies coming out this friday three movies coming out this friday that i will show you it's uh, right here do, 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 do. i will go community my community page there's uh do, 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 chrome there you go so there's panama the movie from mark nebeldine one of the dudes uh, behind crank 2 high voltage if you've never seen this movie Oh my god what are you waiting for this movie is bat shit crazy and i actually want to review it want to see if it's on the same level as uh you know uh crank 2 i don't think it will but you know i'll give it a shot 
Then there's X from Ty West, the er erotic slasher thriller from A24. I've been uh, really wanting to see this one. And then being the big black exploitation fan that I am, uh, kind of a send up on this on the genre, Alice, starring Kiki Palmer, Common, and John Lee, Lee Miller. Uh, the critics haven't been that kind, but you know, sometimes critics don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So I'm gonna check it out for myself. I wanted to review all three of these movies as soon as possible and uh, you know see see what's up so uh yeah that that is it that is it for my first live broadcast i hope you're gonna enjoy this as you watch this later on because uh, only the specialist was here ws specialist thank you for coming coming in i very much appreciate it you know I, like i like i said i did not advertise this at all i just wanted to do like a Sort of like a trial run kind of thing. The next one, though, I'm going to fucking pimp the shit out of it. It's going to be everywhere. But, uh, yeah, man, thank you for showing up. Uh, it's appreciated. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, come back later on. I'll, probably in the next few weeks, I'm going to do this again. And um, you know what? For right now, I'll say to you, you know, ciao, bye for now. <laughs>